Absolutely dominating. Chris Archer goes the distance. There's another K. Archer just ate him for lunch. Chris Archer is one of the best starting pitchers in the American League. Archer's got it all. What do I got to do to hit this guy? The Bucks land Chris Archer from Tampa Bay. His ability to go out there every fifth day and give you a quality start and a chance to win is huge. Up with strikeout number seven. Goes down and a big K for Archer. The free agent right-hander Chris Archer in agreement with the Rays. And expect him to have a very productive 2021 season. All right, back on MLB tonight. Uh, Chris Archer going back to the place where it all started. And Chris, the tweet now, he, he's super hyped, but to say the least, we're super hyped because uh, Chris is joining us now on uh, MLB tonight. Chris, thanks for hanging out with us, man. Fran Charles, Al Leiter, and John Smoltz. So, first of all, I, I know, you know, a, a, a ways back, you had the thoracic outlet syndrome surgery dealing with your shoulder. How do you feel now back in Tampa Bay and, and back getting set for 2021? I feel great. Um, first of all, thanks for having me on. Uh, it's always a pleasure to join MLB Network. And uh, I, I heard John talk, I think it was yesterday, about the eagerness and the, the desire and the hunger whenever whenever a pitcher misses the season, whether it's from opting out or whether it's from injury or, or whatever it may be. And I'm super, super hungry, and, and I'm, I'm glad that the thoracic situation is behind me. Um, I, I dealt with it for a while, and I thought it was – something completely different. I was treating something completely different. And uh, as you guys can see in this video, I, I did some things delivery wise that I think is going to take stress off my neck and shoulder. Um, and that's the beauty of the rehab process. You're not just rehabbing that one specific injury. You're trying to delve into the different things that may have caused that one injury, iron those things out as well. And I, I think I did a great job with that with my PT the last 10 or so months. Chris, it's Al here. And I'm curious, just Injury and health aside, moving forward, you're back, as Fran said, in Tampa Bay where it started for you in the big league career. What are you working on, have thought about, kind of take your career where it is now? You've been around for a while. And specifically, what are you working on to be better? Well, um, the, the last year or so, the, the injury was, was a major problem. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't have the greatest feel. I didn't have the greatest command. I was very inconsistent. Um, so part of, part of it is just strictly being healthy, but also being in a good environment like Tampa Bay. Um, their pitching coach there, Kyle Snyder, is amazing. The front office there is great. They've, they've already shared some things with me that, that uh, I should focus on. And, and it's really getting back to who I was from 2013 to 2018. Um, I, tried, I tried some new things that didn't really work out for me. And uh, I'm looking forward to getting out there and, and really heightening my strengths Sharpening a couple, sharpening and fine-tuning a couple other things, but really going back to my strengths and, and going out there and, and supplementing this, this great team and hopefully getting a couple more wins and, and holding that trophy at the end of the year. And it's something that I talked about with James Shields and David Price way, way back in the day and, and to see where the team and the organization 